unlock trunk and horn. The other side is remote start, remote part forward, remote part backward, and unlock front. Now let's unlock the vehicle. We'll open and close the door and push the start stop button to turn on the car. unit on the right, where we enter our passcode to log in to our profile. Now let's look at our controls. We'll start on the left side of the steering wheel, where we click the Instrument Cluster Menus button and scroll through different view options. We have the Drive and Assist button, Adjust Speed, Set Distance, and Lane Following Assist. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have our Media Mode button, which switches between audio sources when pressed. Press the wheel to mute. Scroll the wheel to adjust volume. Speech button. Cancel. And click up and down to switch what is playing in our chosen media port. We have a favorites button, which brings us to our preferred menu. Holding this button allows us to customize what is shown. The phone button brings up our connected device. At the bottom of the steering wheel, we have our drive mode button to switch between normal, sport, my drive, snow, and eco. We also have all wheel drive lock on and off. Next, we'll check out gears. There's the on off button. The gear change lever, which we pull towards us to shift between drive, neutral, and reverse. Press the lever button for park. Let's move to the instrument cluster. We have three main views, driving info, navigation, and ADIS. We can dive deeper into driving info, which displays various details about the vehicle status. Drive mode changes are also displayed here. Now we have our head unit. On the home page, we have a more options menu, a drop down quick controls menu, which is customizable. a date and time shortcut, navigation widget and shortcut, media widget and shortcut, and an EV shortcut. Swiping to page two, we have phone, which we have connected to an iPhone. Let's change our device by going to setup, device connection, removing Apple CarPlay, and activating Android Auto. Which opens up once connected. We can disconnect Android Auto and just keep the phone and media connections. Let's return to phone, where now we can view our phone menu for our Android. 
phone projection to connect Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, voice memo, seat, weather, setup, which has two pages with deeper settings. On page three, we have valet mode, vehicle diagnostics, maintenance, HD radio data, notifications, an online manual, which brings up a QR code to access. On our control panel, we have shortcut buttons for home, map, search, media, a second favorite button, customizable when held down, and setup. We can scroll the volume control wheel up and down, press to mute, Adjust the driver's temperature, the climate intensity, fan direction, and passenger temperature. And finally, we have our hazard light. The EV9 also features a digital interior rear view mirror activated by pushing the lever. There are three home buttons on the left and settings adjustments on the right for brightness and vertical positioning. Push the lever to turn off. The center console has the fingerprint scanner, auto hold and brake control on off buttons, which are both shown in the instrument cluster, camera button, hold it to start parking assist, Wireless phone charging is available on the console as well. Finally, let's turn the vehicle off by pressing the start stop button. We'll open and close the door and lock the vehicle.